This is a map of the United States with NBA teams all over. Of course, you have to add Canada and their Toronto Raptors. So, NBA teams everywhere, 2,000 miles across. So, when players move, it's a big deal. Today, we're going to be looking at the top five off-season trades coming up. Let's get into it. The fifth off-season trade. The fifth most important. Andre Dahl exception trade. Um, the Golden State Warriors uh, had an uh, Andre Dahl trade exception from when they traded him to the Grizzlies. They're going to try that now for Dennis Schroeder. The salaries match up. Makes perfect sense. Dennis Schroeder becomes a backup for Golden State. A great 6th or 7th man, depending on the future of Eric Paschal. And the Thunder get the Andre Dahl trade exception, which they can use to sign some big contracts. Number four, Darius Garland trade. Now, no one was expecting this, I'm pretty sure. I mean, Darius Garland is a great fit in Cleveland alongside Con Sexton. Um, everyone loves him there. He's a great prospect. But I don't think people, especially people in Cleveland, appreciate him as much as they should. And Garland, he recognizes that. Um, during several points in the season, he uh, said that he no longer cares if he remains in Cleveland. I think uh, Laurie Markkinen will be a great fit with um, the coaching staff and everyone um, in Cleveland. And Darius Garland will be great alongside Zach Levine. So, yeah. Um, there you go. Number three. DeMar DeRozan. The San Antonio Spurs trade DeMar DeRozan for Aaron Gordon from the Magic, uh, Mo Bamba, and a 2022 first round pick. Um, DeMar DeRozan no longer looks like he should stay in San Antonio. Uh, Aaron Gordon, who should be a two time dunk contest champion, looks like he should no longer stay in Orlando. Um, this makes perfect sense. Mo Bamba, 2022 pick, is very valuable. Um, and I think, why not? A lot of people think this is going to happen, so do I. Number two, Ben Simmons. Um, the Knicks, I don't think anyone thought he was going to the Knicks, but I do. Trade the 2021 LA Lakers first round pick, a 2021 Knicks first round pick, and a 2020 first round pick if the Sixers really want it, and a Mavs 21 pick. Um, and Julius Randle for Ben Simmons. Uh, I love this trade. I think Knicks fans should too. Um, the last one I've already made a video on, so I'm not going to elaborate too much. Giannis Santetokounmpo for Andrew Wiggins, Jordan Poole, 2020 pick, and Minnesota 2021 pick. Um, I love it. I'm a Warriors fan, and I love it. Um, some of you guys might get pissed at me. Like, bro, where's a bunch of trades I'm hearing about? Um like the Rudy Gobert trade well I think that either it's not gonna happen because like yeah I mean the Rudy Gobert trade might just be like something that people are talking about right now but if it does happen I think uh, Jazz are hanging on to Donovan Mitchell he's a great prospect he could be a future MVP I think we've already seen the best of Rudy Gobert he's not gonna get any better um, so I think they're going to hang on to Donovan Mitchell and Rudy Gobert is going to get traded if they can't solve the relations between those two. Um, so I didn't put it on because I don't know if they'll be able to like fix their problems with each other or not. So that's why I didn't put it on the list. But yeah, um, that's basically an outline of why I didn't put that trade on the list. Um, and other trades you might be hearing about. Like, I, I, I just don't think it'll happen or it's not big enough. Yeah. Make sure you like if you like the video. Make sure you subscribe no matter what, cause subscribe uh, for more content. Or ring the bell so you know when I post. And yeah.